What is up, people? Half Slab Bacon back with another episode in Bacon's World. So, guys, we're back at the base. Do you know why we're back at the base? Because I did a whole bunch of stuff and things, and I need to show you before we get on to today's stuff and things. So, guys, did you miss the stream? If you missed the stream, you should watch the stream. It was epic. We went and we did a dragon fight. We did a major end boss. We tried some really cool stuff with the uh, with the end battle guys, with the end boss Torino stuff and things. Here, let's go like this because we're gonna end up pulling out some shoulders anyways. So, whoops, not that one. Actually, I'm gonna want that one out anyways. But we'll get this one out. Cause, we made this guy up right here, multi-shot. And I tried that out with the dragon fight. It was pretty cool. We played around with fireworks with it. Also, very cool, guys. Very, very cool. And um, I cleaned up all my, my shulker boxes, as I mentioned. I kept going, so now we've got like an ice box. We've got enough room for eight shulker boxes here on top of like... All my items, separate rails, lighting, all that stuff and things. So that we have more room in places like this to put other stuff and things. And, of course, our dedicated gearbox. And then we have the end. Stuff and things. Want to see how we did, guys? Check it out, homies. Is that amazing or what? I know. It's amazing. It's fabulous. First thing we want to do, because I believe I'm like pretty much plumb out of, yeah, see, not, not, nothing there. So we need to go like this. We need to go like that. We need to go like that. And we need to go like this. Bam. Yeah. We need to fill back up the shulker box stuff and things, guys. It's important. It must be a thing. There we go. That's probably good enough on this side. We'll put those on this side. Just because on this side, even though we've got space, because I actually put stairs in there. So these are wired in as overflow. I kind of like to leave this like under a chest. You know what I mean? We'll do one more in here. Then we know we got 25 on that side. There. We got 25 on each side now, right? And then we take two out of there to go in here. And we got that. And then we can take these along with these and these because these are all our valuables. And we have room for them over here now. And we can go like a so. Aha! Suck it, game. So, to go over all the stuff we had, we've got like Unbreaking 3, Knockback, Protection 3. I don't think any of these were great. Oh yeah, that was great. Efficiency 5, Silk Touch, Mending. I thought I got two that were great. No? Oh yeah, efficiency four, fortune three, unbreaking, and then all these. So what I think we need to do here, we need to use up some of the levels. I've slowly started cleaning up some of our storage, like some of this still needs to get swapped around with 1.16 balance. I think this needs to come down here and that should be out by the time you guys are seeing this video. We need to go visit our guys. So I've been doing lots of stuff off camera here. Little stuff. And like this, we need to work on this. We might get to this today. This needs to be fixed. Because there's new some new magic we can work in here now. So we need to fix that to host more bunnies and kill less of them. And then over here on the stream... Whoa! 
Where'd he come from? What the for shizzle? Where'd he come from? We have a... The mob's in here, man. There is no spot here possible for him to have spawned. You see that, right? You guys see that, right? I know there's no spawnable blocks around here. I checked it and checked it and checked it again when we built it. I don't know what's going on there. Mobs are so bugged. They spawn in places they obviously shouldn't be able to. I hate it. That guy almost blew up our stuff. That would have been terrible. Followed us right in here, and I was totally unaware. Okay, we should have an axe guy in here. Axe, yes. Eh? Oh, only ten? Here, dude. Nope. Seriously? You're gonna give me one. Okay, these guys might be... broken. I'm not sure what to think, because see how he's got a bar here? I did a bunch of trading with him and it didn't go up. I did the same here. You can see we've locked him out there, but not on the pick. I don't know if they're going to reset or not. Because see how these guys? There's no bar. This guy's got expert. Did you have a bar? See how he's got no bar? So some of these are like partially updated, I think. Some aren't. They're a little bugged. So I don't know how useful our old guys are. I'm gonna come back later and check. Now I gotta be prepared for hidden mobs. Okay, I've combined a bunch of books and I unenchanted the axe and I wanna see can we get this? Will it take sharpness 5 after? <gasps> it will! So we're gonna call it Skull Splitter! That is awesome. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. So that's actually going to become our, our default axe now. And we're going to put this Feathers Mall in as our backup. Yeah! I'm happy with that. What I want to do is, we've got a backup fire gear um, over there. And this is backup regular gear. But I want to have, like, the other stuff put away to make more backups. And I wouldn't mind having some in our gearbox. So I'm going to work on that. That's going to take me a bit. All right, guys. So we've got a full chesticles now of backup gear. We've got our regular jacket. We've got our Frostwalker boots. We've got a couple spare elytras, a full extra set, which is random silly names, because why not? Backup sword. Of course, I packed up a backup bow. We've got our, our axe, because we used all our other good ones elsewhere, extra picks, all that stuff. So we've got one slot left for like a future extra tool and one slot left for a golden hat in the near future and then all this junk i'm just gonna go drop off at uh our starter base up top real quick because we don't keep iron stuff down here okay one of the things we gotta do actually for a bit is come down to our chicken farm because we have like no eggs left in this world Certainly not on a mass scale. What the heck is going on down here? What the? I th think we need to fix this thing. I'm not even sure what's happening right now. Can you die? Oh my god, everything is broken from all the redstone changes. Dude. You need to die now. It's because they're getting in there. 
This thing needs like a total redesign now. This is not good. Okay, so there's only one problem with this, and that is that we are legit never ever getting these chickens back in that hole if we move that. So, I mean, I think I'm going to put a band-aid solution on this. Like, we can run the wiring this way, right? It'll be fine. It'll be totally fine if we run the wiring like this. Not a problem. And I can AFK here and fill up a couple chests. And then oh, we're going to have to kill those chickens and respawn them to get this thing working again. And on top of that, I need more to get wither roses. This, I guess I'm, I'm AFKing here after today's episode to fix all this stuff and things. Jeez Louise. Go away, ugly red bed. There, that's much better. Much, much better. Um, I do have some plans for ugly red beds anyways, but I wanted to come over here and work on this thing. Reason being, I keep using the flowers because it's baby blue dye, right? Let's just let's cheat and ender over so much easier. Yeah, it's baby blue dry, and uh, I've used a lot of it in recent projects, like, say, uh, I don't know, the Guardian Farm, for example. See this, though? This is a constant problem. So I gotta go into creative and figure out what we're gonna do about this. Because, yeah, we AFK, I wasn't really thinking when I built this roof. We AFK over there, which means this gets lightning strikes. Which means that gets destroyed. Which is not a good thing. So, we have to figure that out. Let's go in here. Because I really wanted to work on this. So, we have to check something out here. Let's just go ahead and... Pop an ender chest down. You can see I brought some flowers with me. Because something else we never use around here is this thing. And I think we can use this for the seeds here, if I remember correctly. Yes, we can. See? Sweet. And while we had it out, I wanted to check. Does it do tall flowers? Yes, it does. And I imagine it does short flowers. Okay, so even though we don't really need the um, bone meal, I think what we're going to do is... Wow, I got a lot of junk here, huh? Like a lot of junk here. I might need to fix that. I think what we're going to do is we're going to set this up. Maybe I should just get rid of all the wood. <laughs> Cereal. Like for Pete's sakes. Last I remembered, I think we have two seed filters down here. I think it's... Well, that was weird. I think it's two seed filters. Yeah, so we have two seed filters to keep up with the volume. And then they're going down into here. Ah, crap. I forgot to bring a bucket. Okay, not a problem. Not a problem. We'll just, uh... We'll just go like this. And this. And this. And I'll use the, the button I already... The thing I already have. But this needs to go, without a doubt... Let's get rid of this. We've got composter tucked back there. Both of these feed over into the one composter. Then it comes over and around. And... I'm actually not happy with 
Put that right there. So we're gonna put that there. Just to clean that up a bit. And then... I'm gonna want another glass there. Actually, I guess it doesn't matter. If any water streams come down here, this thing's screwed either way because of both of them. Unless I go like... So. So that's probably good. Yeah, that'll protect us. That's what that random glass is for. But... Ugh. Now we need to test it for a while. Just to make sure one composter can handle the seeds. Okay. I cleaned it up to about as fast as you can get this stuff and things going. This is a problem though, that we never used to have, which kind of sucks. I don't like that. But hopefully that's because I've been adjusting timing and stopping it. So now this is all on one tick with power on before they were both off. So I've alternated it. I've added bricks there just to prevent stuff from collecting in the corners here. And then this is on two ticks off with no repeater delay here. It's short enough it can go direct. And that one has a two tick delay right there. And it's going to get loud for a sec, but you should see. All we have to do is kind of spam until we catch it. And now it's impossible to get two. The downside is <laughs> it's faster than the minecart can really pick it up, so you have to break after a couple stacks. But it doesn't seem to be uh, getting caught up at all downstairs, so I'm going to let it run and see what happens. Wandering Trader showed up with two more stuff and things. I'm going to double up the minecarts to speed this up. But first, we got to get all these stuff and things. Thank you. You know what? Nah, we got plenty of Nautilus shells. You can keep the rest. Bye now. All right. No. Dang it, Bobby. I hate it when I do that accidentally. Now I have to wait for it to come back up. There we go. There we go. Two mine carts. Beautiful. So I just switched the, the stuff and things over there. Oh. I forgot one thing, and that is I want to block them. Just because. I'm going to leave the glass here just so we can see, hey, I've got redstone back there. And then I'm going to leave this open so we can, doesn't matter which way we get come in, we can get like down and up. That kind of thing. Extra lighting, of course. So, if my timing's good, which it is, I should be able to just finish filling this in, do the grass, give her one final test run, and she should be much faster now. Alright guys, so I tore this room apart while I was making flowers and widened it up because I'm not as lazy and ghetto with my redstone as I used to be. So we got the pistons here, you know, comparator block, four tick block, i done quite often in the past. Um, both our filters now have proper filter items in them so that we're not getting any overflow and they both do those, only I separated this out. So we've got one of the mine carts going into one of these filters and the other mine cart wraps around and goes into this filter. That way when they do get seeds, they go into two separate comparators and then out the bottom so that it can continue to push flowers as fast and as often as possible and also go through the seed. And then if there's gonna be like a backup of the bone meal, it'll happen in these lower hoppers so that it can still keep pushing the seeds and stuff. It works really well, goes for a long time. 
I just opened this up so I could have all my ladders over here. Looks nice and good now. And I opened this this way so I could stick a couple crafting tables in here. And I could stick my sh end chest in here so I could get at all my working shulkers and fill them up as need be. And then I think I showed me building this. I can't remember, but those are going that way now. Yeah, so they come over here, pull this way, then push down. When I first did it, I had this incorrectly over here. That doesn't work. Then the minecarts don't stop. You don't want to do that. And then I put some stairs in here and grab some cocoa beans to fence this around so it's all pretty. And you can actually see I put one of these here, in here. And that just keeps me, as you can see, from ending up on the floor and getting hurt or falling through. And it lines me up perfectly with block. So, semi-auto is done, dude. Except for the roof. Okay, back with the chickens. And, uh, I've been saving up a whole bunch of eggs here. I AFK'd for, like, ever. And we need those for wither roses. But, yeah, we got a problem here. We kept having raw chicken because of the entity cramming, getting into our filters, messing it up. And I showed you earlier about the other one. So, yeah, um... We gotta do something about this, which means that right there's gotta come out. And oh no, I'm gonna make a mess. Hi guys! I know. Sorry! You all must die. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna. Sorry! I'm gonna clean this mess up. And we're gonna change it around and fix it up, I guess. All right, I've got it all figured out. So, we got two layers of chickens now, same as before, obsidian, just so if anything creeper blows up up top, they're protected. But glass this time, because they're one stage lower. So we're going into the back of the dispenser now, and there's somewhere in between like 45 and 50 chickens is what I put in there. So in the test world, it seemed like much over 44 and you'd get entity cramming. So we're going to have a couple die here, but see this, what this is for is it's unlocked right now. So we get, as they grow up and they die and they entity cram, it's going to fill up here. And if they lay eggs, it's going to come into here for now because of that hopper there. So how's the system work? Well, you can see we've got an observer there and an observer there facing, right? Oh, you have to put these in here. The cool thing about the way hopper timings and everything works now. If this fires off into this lava, um, as long as there's room in the hopper, it'll suck it in and this will fill up. And then once that hopper's full, the lava will start killing stuff. So we technically, we don't even need this here anymore. We could just leave a lava block there if we want it. But every time this comes down, it'll fire this off just to empty any feathers. And then you can see that observer there these two facing up are coming up and detecting that. So whenever that gets an item, it's going to fire this down, which will chain this up as well as firing off that dropper. And then those come all the way back here. You can see that guy and that guy is watching them. And it's going to fire here. Let's just do this. And redstone dust which will fire this guy off, right? Good to go. And then this here and the light is for our egg collection. So if I drop this, the light goes on, chicken farms on, right? It's gonna run for chicken. If the light's off, that hopper underneath here is unlocked. So then whatever drops will go into these chests, right? We need that hopper locked for these two to push into the dispenser. So that's done. Okay, one more thing we need to fix is this. So there's always been a problem with this fence thing. 
and that is just the way the water pushes up and how they bunch in the corners here. If you run the water for too long, these guys will suffocate. And yeah, sometimes the babies get stuck up here too and you get entity cramming. So there's a way to minimize the enemy enemy that blah, 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 talk much bacon entity cramming and solve the problem with them bunching up in the corners. And that is da 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 ha, -ha the grindstone. Now we can thank Elga on the Psycraft server for figuring this one out, but that means we gotta tear these apart, get these bunnies out, and modify it. So in order to do that, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill through the back here and pull them into the back and breed up a bunch more of them. And then we're gonna actually expand this to two wide. Yeah, it'll it'll be it'll be a thing, peeps. Come here, Bonnies. Is that the last of you? Yes. Okay. We got them all. Come here, guys. Why won't it let me put the blocks down? Ah, dang it. Bobby, what if we switch these? No, that doesn't work. Oh, it kind of does. Sweet. Is that all of you? Is that all of you? That's all of you. Come here. Come here, homies. Okay, there we go. Now I should be able to do that and get out of here. After, of course, you know, breeding them up a few times. Yeah. All right. We got a whole bunch of grown bunnies. Go play, bunnies. Go, no, no, go, no, no. Go play, bunnies. Go. Get in your hole. Get in your hole. Go. Get in your hole. Get in your hole. You all need to go in the hole. You you can go down the hole, right? Right? You can go down the hole. Why are you guys going this way? It's the wrong direction. Stop. Nope. Nope. Go that way. I got my work cut out for me here, guys. I think I might have got them. I lost a few. Maybe more than a few. Definitely more than a few. But it's okay. I think I might have got them. Suck it, rabbits! Ha! -ha! Okay, it's all cleaned up. It's time to test the system. Get, get rabified. Get rabified. See how they jump around much more now with those things? It's awesome. But, um, that's not what I wanted to do. Yes. So happy. Eat all the carrots. Get, get all the carrots. No. I don't want to repair and just disenchant. There we go. Fed them all the carrots. Yes. And you can see how the hippity hops are falling through. It's a thing. We fixed it, guys. We fixed it. It's amazeballs. Okay, let's shut it off. Beautiful. Another farm fixed. Ha <laughs> ha. And it doesn't look too bad. I, I shaped it out as best as I could. Whoa, we got a lag spike there. Why'd I lose 10 frames? Weird. It looks good. It looks good, guys. I'm happy with it. Definitely happy with it. So, I think that's enough of fixing farms for today, guys. Yep. Yep. Gotta get ready for 1.16 though. It's a coming. It's a coming. It's out already. I just need to upgrade. And I might do a video to show you how I'm gonna go about clearing the net. So, as always, guys, smash that like if you enjoyed the episode to help others like yourself who might enjoy the content, find the channel. And if you're new and you haven't already, Hit that sub button for more videos, people. Thanks for watching. Bye.